I'll show you step by step how to easily share files between your Android device and PC using this powerful tool. Say goodbye to complicated file transfers and hello to seamless sharing with nearby share for Windows. Keep watching to see if your computer is compatible. This feature has been out for a while now and one thing to note it's still in beta which simply means it's still in testing mode. For the past three weeks to a month I have been using it. It has been pretty stable for most of the time so I think it's a good tool to work with. The requirement for all this to work is Windows 10 or 11 and a 64-bit machine. To see if your machine is 64-bit, go to Start, then Settings, then slope down to About. Under Device Specifications, you'll see System Types. You need to have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth switched on on your phone and also Wi-Fi and Bluetooth switched on on your computer. Now let's go to your computer and we shall download the nearby share software. I'll leave a link in the description to we'll install the software and as you can see it will download and install. So when you're done open the software. As you can see here you can log in your Gmail. In your situation it will have sign in. I already signed into mine and then we have some visibility options here right now the device is hidden so no device can see my computer so no device can share any file with my computer and then we have other options we have received from anyone so your device will be open and anyone can share a file to your computer then you have an option to tick this and to keep the receive from everyone option and it will be available all the time all these options are self-explanatory as you can see them so let's say you want to share a file to your to your phone right now so there are many ways of sharing a file you can just locate the file and drag it to and now as you can see my phone has popped up here i'll tap the phone and then i'll come to my phone and a notification will come you see it has started receiving and let's try another way you can as well just select files here select and then it will browse you can also come to the file you want to share the image you want to share right click and you'll see send with nearby share tap it and still everything will just work the same way on your phone you'll get a notification of the sh of the share and you'll accept. Now let's try sending a file from your phone to the computer and see how it works. So I would like to share this file. I'll just hit share. Then I'll tap nearby share. So uh, sharing, as you can see, uh, I'll tap my PC here. And then you see, receiving has, has started on your computer. So you can open and you'll see the file on your computer. You can as well change the location of where files are saved. For, for my case, they are saved to downloads, but I can come here and change to any other location. I could put to desktop, I could put to any other location that you would like. You could change the, the way other devices see you when they share via nearby share. So that is done here. And one good thing is uh, it keeps running in the background on your computer. So whenever you need it, it's just here in the tray. So you don't need to keep opening it every time you need it. Anytime you need to share a file, just right click on a file and come to send with nearby share. If this video is giving you value so far, give a like. I believe the feature is bright and Google will keep making this better and better over time. Click on your screen to see how to use nearby share to transfer files between smartphones or click other video to see how to download any video on your smartphone.